The Senate Energy Committee has summoned Energy Cabinet Secretary John Munez over irregular contracts for an insurance cover worth over 300 million shillings at the Kenya Pipeline Company. The committee is probing how an insurance company was awarded a job it never applied for. The probe extending to forgery, allegedly intended to sanitize a process of selecting the contested insurance firm. As Samogina now reports. The Energy Cabinet Secretary is set to appear before the Senate on Wednesday over controversial procurement of insurance covers and the challenges facing insurance of all risk industrial and terrorism and sabotage cover components of Kenya Pipeline Company projects. A controversy that implicates Amaco Insurance Company that apparently never applied for the job but was still illegally awarded the job to cover the two components. Documents seen by Citizen TV indicate the Evaluation Committee for Provision of Insurance Brokerage Services had four members, including former company secretary Gloria Kafafa, who chaired the committee, and three other members. The committee shortlisted the firms to provide various insurance services at KPC. In its recommendation in a memo dated 22nd of August 2016, the committee tasked the then managing director Joe Sang to consider and award as per the recommendations of the evaluation committee. On the controversial components in question, that is all risk industrial and terrorism and sabotage covers, Cedric Insurance Brokers and CIC Insurance won the bids. Subsequently, the KPC Managing Director then Joe Sang went ahead to inform Cedric in a letter dated 31st of August 2016 that they had been awarded, among other covers, all industrial risk with CIC insurance at a cost of over 109 million shillings annually. The terrorism and sabotage cover was equally given to Cedric and CIC at an annual premium cost of 11 million shillings. And according to the documents, this is where the musical chairs begin. Cedric wrote back to KPC introducing Amaco Insurance in the business on an 80-20% revenue share. The broker asking whether it was in order to co-insure the business awarded to them, specifically industrial oil risks and terrorism and sabotage covers. This in contravention of the pipeline company policy on insurance that indicates insurance covers are placed through insurance brokers and a broker can only recommend one and a write up a policy. With Sedgwick in partnership with CIC Insurance on the two policies, the introduction of Amaco Insurance came in after the process had been sealed and completed, Amaco having tendered for insurance of motor vehicles, commercial motor vehicles and money, and not industrial oil risk and terrorism and sabotage covers. The latest development throwing KPC in a spin, necessitating variation of the tender. The evaluation committee was forced to sit and sanitize the process. The tender was varied, with the cost shooting up from 370 million shillings to 402 million shillings. But a member of the evaluation committee, Zachary Otieno, refused to append his signature on the variation report, questioning the process. Zachary questioning why Amaco had been included as a broker, contrary to the initial recommendation of the evaluation committee on industrial oil risk and terrorism and sabotage covers. In response, the then company secretary who chaired the evaluation committee, Gloria Kafafa, claimed Amaco was an underwriter and not a broker, and thereby it was a typographical error. Still an illegality, given the company policy stipulates only one underwriter per policy. As such, two memos emerged, all dated 22nd of August 2016, indicating a shortlist of all firms that had successfully bidded for the jobs. While one indicates Sedgwick alongside CIC won the tender for all industrial risk and terrorism and sabotage covers, another shortlist indicated Sedgwick and Amaco alongside CIC had won the bids, one document lacking certification stamp of being a copy of the original. An internal audit report has punched holes into the Amaco deal, questioning the involvement of the insurance firm, given that there were no instructions to co-insure in the tender documents. A number of the former top KPC managers are already in court over graft allegations at the pipeline. Sam Guinness, Citizen TV, Nairobi.